Praise God, everybody. Blessings to you. It is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm so glad you're here today. Amen. Welcome to the broadcast. As usual, uh, every month uh, we release a prophetic word or prophetic forecast broadcast into the atmosphere. Who here knows that there's power in our words? And the word of God says that whenever God does something on the earth, he first informs or he first gives intel to his prophets, to the hungry ones, to the ones that have eyes to see and ears to hear. So I want to welcome you today because I have a powerful prophetic word for the month of March. And I want to invite you and welcome you. And I want you to give us some hearts, likes, and do share. Let me know where you were watching from. And even last night, uh, of course, I did a prophetic broadcast uh, concerning the nation of Ukraine and concerning the times that we are in. I believe this is not the end of Ukraine. I believe there will be a new Ukraine. And I also believe that uh, God is in our midst right now. And the church is going to grow and expand in number and in strength like never before. God is not done with the nation of Ukraine. Can I get an amen? And we need faith-filled people to pray. And not just to pray, but to prophesy the word and the will of God, the intentions of God on the earth. Can I get an amen? Well, I want to welcome you here today. And I just want to give some shout outs to our friends that are watching. Praise God. Let me know where you were watching from. And let me give some shout outs before I go into this prophetic word of the month for the month of March. Come on, somebody. We're just a few days away from entering into the month of March. And of course, time is flying by. Things are moving so fast. I mean, uh, just at the blink of an eye, the Bible says, at the blink of an eye, we will be here. And then we'll suddenly be raptured. So things are moving quickly. But God is good. Amen. But let me know where you are watching from. Let me give some shout outs to you. Hello there, child of most high. Shalom. Conrad Bukes. Uh, Patrice. Leons. Mama Heidi Sons. Pastor Shammer. Amanda, Tina Parker, Marjorie. Praise God. Hallelujah. Zerabrakatara. <clears throat> Melissa Fiaz. Good seeing you. Praise God. Tom Karen. From the Dine Nation, praise God. I want you to share this on your wall because I have a word to share and to release to you concerning this new month of March. Someone say new. Share me blessings to you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Rekha Jesse Matthews from Malaysia. Amen. I love Malaysia. I miss Malaysia. Saya rindu ku Malaysia banya banya. Serabrakatara. Conrad. From South Africa. I hope to see you. I will be in South Africa next week. Hallelujah. Maria Plant, Crystal. Oof, Rebecca. Praise God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Well, listen, I want to welcome all of you. Of course, every month I release a prophetic word, unctioned by the Lord, uh, because God is always speaking and God is always moving. God is not a dumb God. He's not a mute God. He's not a deaf God. He's always speaking, always moving. And I believe right now what we need today more than ever is not fear mongering fake news, but it is prophetic news that not only predicts the future, but it actually brings the reality of God's now from heaven to earth. So I have a word to share over the month of March. And even as I opened up earlier, I believe this is not the end of Ukraine, but there is divine intervention coming to the people, the ethnic group of Ukraine. Robo, God is moving powerfully. And last night I released five prophetic prayer points, five prophetic words concerning the nation of Ukraine. And let me tell you, I believe this is not World War III. This is not the beginning of World War III. All right, I want you to watch the rest of that prophetic broadcast, Facebook Live, uh, that I released last night. But concerning the month of March, I'm gonna say March, listen, I want to open up in prayer, and I'm going to go into this word. God, I thank you for every single person who's watching now, that we are in hunger and expectation for what you are about to do this month, in the month of March 2022, 5782. Shika Rabbah, and all the God's people said, amen, amen, and amen. Remember, this year in the Hebrew calendar is 5782. And this year in the Hebrew calendar, this is the leap year. Someone say leap year. Are you ready to leap forward? Are you ready to leap over your enemies? Are you ready to leap over a wall? The book of Psalms says, with your help, 
I will leap against a wall and against my troops. So God is causing you to leap forward. This is actually like a quantum leap, a multiplied, progressive, uh, fruit-bearing leap. So you're about to leap forward with greater grace like never before. But in the Hebrew calendar, when it is a leap year, it actually means double. Some would say double. So I want to talk to you about the power of the double because I believe God is releasing double, double over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? So in the Hebrew year, whenever it is the leap year, which is right now, this year, 5782, 2022, whenever it is the leap year, it means the double year. It means double for your trouble, double honor for your shame. Can I get an amen? But whenever the double is released it's actually released in the month of february to march right now this month it is released in the hebrew month of adar so i'm gonna say adar and of course last month for february i already shared a bit of what adar means adar comes from the root word in hebrew or the original word meaning which means adir which means strength and power so february is the month of strength and power but in the month of March, some say March, it is a dar too. Oh my goodness. Right when you thought you couldn't get enough strength and power, God says, I'm going to give you double strength and power. I'm going to give you strength and power too. Come on, somebody. So in the Hebrew calendar, whenever it is a leap year, God actually extends the month of a dar. So this month, this time is doubled. It is twins. In fact, the Jews say that every leap year is like a year that is impregnated by God. It is ripe with blessings. It is pregnant, poignant. It is poised with an outpouring of the double double. And that double is released in this month, in the month of February to March or the month of Adar. So this is the month of Adar too, or the double Adar. Someone say amen. Oh, I wish I had a witness in this place. This is the month of double Adar. This is the month of double, double. And it is the year of double. Of course, 2022, 22. This is the year of the double. Double keys, double doors, double favor, double blessings. But that double is released in this month specifically. If you're with me today, someone say amen. If you're with me today, someone say hallelujah. So in this Adar 2, God is releasing double recompense, double perm. So again, the significance of this month of Adar, of course, the main significance is perm. Okay, and I love perm, and perm is coming up in the next two, uh, in the next two and a half weeks, March 15 to 16. That is the time of perm. And our key verse for today is in Esther 4, 14. I want to go to Esther 4, 14. And many of you know this passage. For if you remain silent at this time, Ukraine, church, believers, if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. And you and your father's household will perish. And who knows whether you have attained royalty for such a time as this. I want to tell you right now, who knows if you are alive in 2022 for such a time as this. We've lived through the pandemic, the biggest scandemic, the biggest fraudulent presidency. We've lived through so much nonsense. And let me tell you, this is far from a pandemic. I mean, the human race, planet Earth, we have evolved and we have prevailed over such more grievous, disastrous, destructive times than this. But in the midst of all of this nonsense that we're seeing right now, God is saying, who knows if you have been born for such a time as this. This is your time. Time for what? Time for Purim. Time for recompense. Time for breakthrough. This is the time for the church to arise, the Esthers and the Mordecais to be honored before all. And remember, at that time, there was an enemy. Does this not sound familiar? Let me tell you. Every Jewish feast, biblical feast, there's always war or there's always a natural uh, calamity, natural tragedy. There's usually many times always something happening with the Jewish people. And of course, Ukraine is home for many Messianic Jews. Did you know that? The nation of Ukraine is home 
to so many Jewish diaspora. And there's so many Messianic, spirit-filled, Jesus, Yeshua, believing Jewish people in the nation of Ukraine. So isn't that interesting? Because whenever there, we are in the appointed times, the Jewish biblical feasts and holidays, there's always something happening with the Jewish nation, the first people of God. And there's always something going on on planet Earth. It's an appointed time. But whenever the enemy comes in like a flood, Remember, God will raise up his standard. Some say standard. God will raise up his hand. God will raise up a banner. God will lift up justice and vengeance for the people of God. Can I get an amen? I feel like I'm preaching in this place in the name of Jesus. So for such a time as this, this is an appointed time. Some say appointed. God has appointed you to leap. God has appointed Double. God has appointed double breakthrough. My goodness. And in this month of Adar 2, in this month of Purim 2, double Purim, God is going to release double honor, double recompense. And of course, Haman, which was the enemy of the Jews, Haman was coming against the Jewish nation. Now, you can never touch God's anointed. You can never touch the apple of God's eye. You can never go get, listen, the Nazis and Hitler, we see what's happening. You can never touch the apple of God's eye. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you right now, there is a distinction being made. God is distinguishing the people of God from the lukewarm and the cold, and he's raising up a standard in this hour. But Hanan plotted an evil, wicked plan against the Jewish people. Just like Russia is planning a wicked plan. China Biden, all of these globalists are planning and plotting. But the Bible says in Psalm chapter 2, why do the nations rage? Why do the nations plot in vain? For God sits on his throne and he laughs at his enemies. For God has a better word. God has a better plan. God's word will never fail. And as long as there is a praying church, there is a prevailing church. Hallelujah. So as Haman was trying to come against the Jews, of course, we already know the curse was reversed. Someone say divine reversal. This is a month of divine reversal. This is a month where God is clearing your name. This is a month of divine intervention. This is the month, March, Adar 2. This is the month for double recompense, double vengeance, double justice, double breakthrough, double blessings, double honor, double relief, double glory. This is the month. Of the double double of 5782, the leap year in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're with me, someone say amen. So that's what's happening right now. June, that is what is happening this month, Adar 2. There is a reverse of the curse. The locks are being turned. False decrees, false words, character assassinations, fraudulent attempts are being reversed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, can I get an amen? So if you are an Esther, say amen. If you are Mordecai, say amen. Who here knows you have been born for such a time as this? Someone shout hallelujah. This month of Adar, of course, right after Adar or Adar 2, the double. Right after this month is Nisan, okay? Who would own that, you know, God likes, uh, you know, uh, uh, being in, in Honda One Accord. And God likes Nissan. Who would have known that God likes Japanese motors? But the next month is Nissan. And of course, Nissan is the month of Exodus. My goodness, I'm preaching to some people right now. So in this month of Adar, this is actually the preparation month before you exit Egypt. This is the preparation. Yes, it's the month of Purim, of breakthrough, reversing of the curse, of double honor, your enemy Haman being annihilated. But this is also the month where God is preparing you for a divine exit, for a divine exodus, to, where Pharaoh is going to be judged, where the ten principalities of Egypt is going to be judged, and you're going to leave Egypt with the plunder of your enemies. My goodness, someone say plunder. So this is that month of preparing to leave for Egypt, leave Egypt. But this year is also the year of Shemitah. Okay, some say Shemitah, which means 
Sabbath year in the Hebrew. This is a Sabbath year. It is the Shemitah year. Oh, Jesus. So not only is this the leap year, but it's also a Shemitah year, which means it is a double Shemitah year. What do I mean by that? Every seventh year, it's the timelines of cycles of God. Every seventh year, it is a Sabbath year, which means God gives you rest. Number one, God gives you rest. God releases jubilee, cancellation of debts. My goodness. God uh, sets the captives free and he returns the lands that are owned to you. So it's a rest, it's a return, and it's a reversal. It's really restoration. That's every seven years. And whenever it's a seven-year cycle, we see the globe and the U.S. go into a shift. Some say shift. The last seven years Shemitah cycle that we had uh, was during the market crash. And so we see every seven years there is a market crash. Or really it's an adjustment or a correction. And that's what's happening this year. This year, 2022, of course, I've been talking about it. I've been prophesying even last year, 2021. But there is going to be a market crash coming, a housing market crash. There is going to be, as inflation is skyrocketing, poverty, war, as these things are taking place, there's going to be a sudden crash. But those who have ears to hear and eyes to see will be ready to leave Egypt. Will be ready to plunder Egypt in their divine escape. We'll be ready before you exit and you enter into the new realm or the new year. The rest or the Shemitah, the Sabbath, is not meant to destroy you. It's meant to propel you. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poor. So poor that you can't even afford the last two letters of poor. P-O, you poor. You're not even poor, you poor. Because you... Anyways, so God is releasing double Shemitah. I wish somebody received this right now. I wish somebody grabbed the hold of this right now. And that's what's being released this month. Adar to you in the month of March. Someone say hallelujah. That word double in the Merriam-Webster definition, it means something joined together. Someone say something joined. Double in the Merriam-Webster means something that's joined together. The second definition is to be paired. My goodness, it's paired. Paired, paired. There's a yoking. There's a coming together. There's a pairing. And the third definition in the Merriam-Webster for double means twice as great. So this year and this month, Adar too, you will be paired. With the goodness of God, you will be joined with God Himself, and you will become twice as great in its month of Adar too. If you're with me, say Amen. Adar stands for the most joyous month of the whole year. It's the most joyous. They celebrate all month because they thank God and they praise God for victory from Haman and from the enemies of the Jewish people. So celebrate, rejoice. Because God is up to great things. Now, I want to leave you three prophetic points here as we're about to close. And if you're with me today, say amen. Give me some hearts and lights. I want to give you three prophetic points. These are three things that God is doing over this month of March. This new month of March and over Adar 2. These are three things that God is doing. God is releasing double. Amen. Someone say double. Okay. But God is releasing double preparation. Or Passover. Double preparation. God is releasing double preparation. Consecrate yourselves today. For tomorrow I'll do great and mighty things amongst you. There's a double preparation. Before Passover. And let me tell you. Passover stands for the crossing over. Passover stands for resurrection. New life. So there's a preparation right now. A double preparation. For double plundering of Passover. Number two, this is the month of double Purim power. Remember, Purim means lots and it means lots being overturned. So, this is a month 
where God is releasing double power. Adar Adir means power strength. This is the month where God is giving you double power, double strength, double Purim power. And a third thing, God is releasing double portions of promotion. Of course, in the Hebrew year, whenever it is a leap year in the Hebrew calendar, it means double or means pregnant. So literally you are pregnant with double. You are pregnant with twins. So this month, March, God is releasing double portions of promotion. Suddenly as Esther was raised, suddenly as Mordecai was honored, you're going to go from havoc to honor. You're going to go from defeat to victory. You're going to go from cornered in to becoming a king and a queen over all. You're going to be receiving double portions of promotion this month in the month of March in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone give the Lord a mighty shout and a hallelujah. I want to pray for you right now, church. I believe this month of March, of course, we're going to be marching forward and all that good stuff. But I believe God is marching forward right now. Oh, I believe the Holy Ghost is causing marching orders. He's causing you to receive and release double. Lift up your hands right now. God, I thank you. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just praying the Holy Ghost. Just pray the Holy Ghost, people of God. I feel the Holy Ghost, the presence of God so strong right now. For I hear the Lord saying, dry your eyes, dry your tears, for I will give you double for your shame. I will give you double for your mourning. O oh, sing, O oh, barren land, stretch out your tent pegs. For, O oh, desolate one, you will see how great are the numbers of the children that come to you from the north, east, south, and west. Sing, O oh, barren land. Sing, O oh, Ukraine. Sing, O oh, Russia. Sing, O oh, barren woman. For I am releasing hosts of angels, hosts of heaven. I am releasing the hosts of God all across America, all across Europe, says God, all across Asia, says the Lord. And in this Purim season, you will see the divine intervention in the hand of God raised up in every country. For I am raising up a standard in this hour, says the Lord Jehovah, Usatar of Jehovah, the God of angel armies. I see the plans of the enemy backfiring right now. I see the plans of the devil backfiring right now. Jesus. Lift up your hands, people of God. Lord, I thank you for every person watching right now. Jesus, as they connect with your spirit through this ministry, through this broadcast, I ask you now, release double preparation for Passover plunder. Double Purim power and strength and double portions of promotion lift up your hands to the lord jesus 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 i ask you that you would re receive these prayers and honor these petitions and decrees from your throne some say double some say adar too some say this month of march is my month of double breakthrough. Someone give the Lord a mighty shout. Give me some hearts and likes. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands right now, Lord. I thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Your enemies are being annihilated. And God is stepping and marching in. And God is about to. Provoke the sleeping giant called the spirit of awakening. Remember, whenever there's great shaking, there is a great awakening. I see a sleeping giant 
that's awakening right now. It's called the church. The church is awakening and arising. The church. Some say hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for these wonderful people. Zedabrak, I thank you, Lord. Some say hallelujah. People of God, people of God, people of God. Hallelujah. Zedabrak, I want to release some announcements here real quick before we close today. First and foremost, thank you so much for watching. Coming to an agreement. If this bears witness with you, say amen. If you receive this prophetic word of the month for double breakthrough, say amen. But I want to release some announcements here very quick. First announcement, our next webinar is in the month of March. I want you to join. I'm going to talk about wealth creation. I'm going to talk about wealth creation. God has been moving so powerfully in these Zoom webinars, these Zoom webinars. And we're going to talk about wealth creation, how to create wealth. The Bible says Deuteronomy 8.18, I have given you power to get, create wealth. It doesn't say money or finance. It says wealth. That's very different. So I want you to register now today, and I can't wait to see you for the Zoom webinar. If you are called to be an entrepreneur, a kingdom, businessman, or woman, if you know God has ordained prosperity in your life, I want you to join now. You can go to BenlamGlobal.com. Praise God. Second announcement. In a month of May, we're hosting our next conference here in Southern California. You need to come. You need to join. We have Apostle Chasden Strickland and Prophetess Jolene Whitaker already committed to coming. So please come. There's going to be a powerful time. I believe God is raising up a new breed of fivefold ministers, prophets, and apostles from all across the earth. So come join. You can even register to watch online and be a part of the online group. And a third announcement, hallelujah, of course, in Hawaii in the month of July. It's going to be myself and Prophet Charlie Sham and Jake Hamilton, worship leader extraordinaire. You need a vacation, don't you? I know I do already. So I want to invite you to join us in Hawaii, in Oahu, with Prophet Charlie Shamp, myself, and Jake Hamilton. And it's going to be powerful and incredible. Hallelujah. And last but not least, I feel in my spirit, if you're expecting double, I want you to say double. And I want to open up this time right now for you to sow into this prophetic word. Hallelujah. We're going to give different. We're going to show on the screen different ways for you to give. I was not going to do this, but I just felt it in my spirit as the Lord has instructed me to always, 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 always give an opportunity for people to cheerfully sow and give because your blessing is in the sowing. So I want to open up this time. There's different ways on the screen or in the links that is in the chat group. I want you to begin to sow as you feel the spirit of God leading you to do so. This month of March will be a month of double breakthrough, a dar two. And if you believe it, say amen. A dar two, March will be a month of double breakthrough. And if you are led to give and led to sow into this prophetic word, amen. I want you to type double. I want you to type double in the chat group in the comment section. Hallelujah. Double for your trouble. Double blessings. Double Passover preparation. Double perm power. As you are sowing now, I want you to comment double. And I will come into agreement. And I will call out your name in faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zerabrakata. Marjorie, blessings to you. Martha Winters, Rachel Patrice Leons, Conrad Bukes, hallelujah. Pastor Sharon Smith, Marjorie, blessings. Cece, blessings. Felipe, blessings. Crystal Spring, blessings. If you receive and believe in this prophetic word that was declared over your month of March, sow, and as you sow, Comment double. Alex Ray. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. John, bless you. Love you. Double over Mongolia. Hallelujah. Child of the Most High, double for you and your family. 
Hallelujah. 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 Come on, people of God. I'm just going to give another minute or so before we close. Before this door, before this portal, before this broadcast is closed, sow and give according to your faith. Tom Karen, blessings to you. Miriam Rose, shalom to you. Anamlanda Tarablanda Karabrande. Rebecca Kim, shalom to you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jarabrunda Redes Karabroka Tarablata Ta. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Teresa Myers, blessings to you. Ooh, Sherry, shalom to you. Shata Tarablata. Zarabrata Tarabrata. Come on, people of God. 30 more seconds. If you pledge to sow and give, just comment double before I close the broadcast today. Hallelujah. Zerablata Tarabrota Tarabranda K. Zerabranda Karablanda Karabrata Tarabroka Ta. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Maria Plant, shalom to you. Man of Son, shalom to you. Jesus, Jesus. Marilyn, shalom to you. Alana, blessings to you. Jesus. My goodness, the power of God is so rich right now. Rebecca Matthew, shalom to you. Jesus, Joanna, shalom to you. I'm so undone right now. June, I'm so undone right now. And this right now, of course, I'm prophesying and releasing today. Matthew Ross, Prophet Ivana. Of course, this Friday, it is Shabbat right now. I just feel the Shabbat grace over us right now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. God, I thank you for what you're doing on the earth. That your blood speaks a better word. Jesus. Get ready for God to confound you, to dumbfound you, to, to surprise you, to shock you. June, get ready for God to surprise you. I'm talking to you right now on screen. I'm talking to you. Get ready for Jesus to surprise you in Purim Adar 2, March season and month. Get ready. Shout hallelujah. God bless you, everybody. I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lynn. I want to encourage you to sign up for our webinar and do give this Facebook page a heart and a like. Do subscribe. Whenever I do come on Facebook Live, I come on weekly several times. Hit that notification bell button so you are notified whenever I come on live. Hallelujah. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Get ready for a wonderful month of March. Adar 2, double blessings and breakthrough. I love you. Bless you. And I'll see you soon. God bless.